Welcome to the Too Posh Podcast. I am Gabrielle. I am a former New York Mafia princess, originally from Austria. I am the mother of three and the owner of Too Posh Boutique. And here with my beautiful co-host, Marcella, my daughter. Hello, I'm Marcella. I'm a dancer, choreographer, model, and designer for Too Posh. And I say whatever the f- I want. Hi, my name is Cruz. I am a stylist. I also own the Society Salon in the design design district and I am a short little Mexican with a big personality. I am Polly. I am a certified sexual health consultant and educator, former professional dominatrix, currently working at the largest adult novelty store in the Texas Panhandle. What will they say next? Welcome to the Two Posh Podcast. Are you That's dating? Right. Oh, dating is hard. Dating you- single? Oh, I'm single, single, but like, you know, we're dating if something worth comes along. I like I I have a thing I date out of town, so like I don't like to date Love someone that. here. I don't have spend enough time here to like actually like. Sometimes I only have like three days before I'm leaving, so I'm like I got to get my hair done, my nails done, work, see my friends. I'm like I don't want to have someone like calling me. When are you gonna come over? When are you gonna come over? Can I see you? Can I see you? I don't have time to see you, so I, I tend to date out of town. And dating in Dallas is like no fun, and the guys here suck. So <laughs> I've not had any great experiences. So I hear that a lot that the yeah. guys here are just, uh, but she the plays. girls though, Ooh. it's like, you know, Oh my God, the girls are crazy. Yeah. I had a girl the other day, like a, a couple of months back. I was like talking to this guy for a minute and then he would like, we were all, we're still friends. So we're like chatting on Instagram, whatever. And he called me one day and he was like, Hey, uh, did you write my girlfriend on Instagram? And I'm like, no, I didn't know he had a girlfriend. <laughs> so he's like, oh, um, yeah, she said you wrote her on Instagram, like, saying all this stuff. And I was like, yeah, well, send me the message. I want to see it. So, like, <clears throat> a week later, he calls me back. He's like, I thought you said you didn't say anything. I'm like, I didn't. He sends me a screenshot, and it's from my page. This girl doctored a whole message from that to me. It looked like me to send to her saying, like, hey, um, I'm a girl's girl, and, like, I just want to tell you um you know like your boyfriend's messaging me inappropriately blah 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 i looked at him and i said does that sound like something i would say he goes actually no not really i was like exactly i was like that is these girls are so crazy that they will do anything for like attention oh my gosh wow <laughs> well what i was gonna say <laughs> oh god was that I mean, I don't know if it's true or not, but statistically, uh, there's like four girls to every d- guy in Dallas. In Dallas. In here. Oh, really? Yeah, that's, that's, I did not that's know that. That's what I've heard. One, two, three, four. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Yeah. I mean, yeah. And 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 I I feel also that the girls here are like really pretty. They take care of themselves. Mm-hmm. You know, um, not all the guys are like that. I feel right. You know, um, and and there's a lot of money here in mm-hmm. Dallas. So. Those two things kind of go, you know, hand like in hand, peanut butter and jelly. Right, <laughs> Dallas does. They, we do have the prettiest girls. I mean, yeah. we, her and I travel a lot. I mean, same. I've been all over uh, the world. The girl, and the people are like, oh, the girls in L.A. Oof, you haven't been to Dallas yet. But in, and they're and they're nice here, approachable, yeah, right? And easy. A little bit <laughs> Yeah, very easy. I mean, it's, are easier. <laughs> I mean, so we work in nightlife, right? So. It's just, it's just, it's like, I call it the Batman beacon. It's like a, a, any bottle that lights up, like a Dom or a PJ LaFleur Rosé, <laughs> anything got- with a light on it is the bat sign for these bottle rats. And Spray I'm like, girl. Bottle rats! I'm like, girl, bottle I'm, like, rats. I'm like, girl, that is a Tito's. Set your standards you're, higher. You are selling your soul for a twenty dollar bottle of vodka. I mean, so rats. you see them coming. Oh, oh, they're dude. pushing us down to oh. get past us. I'm like, we are carrying the bottle. Like, what are you going to do without us? I used to wait on this very, very famous NBA player, very good looking, young, new to Dallas. You know, freshly signed. How how long ago? Uh, what year was this? Oh God. Well, let's not say because I know he wasn't old enough to be out. Yeah, he yeah he wasn't. Um, no, but we don't know. Who um, he was. Like, well, this yeah. was 20, 2019. Okay. Twenty nineteen. What sport? 18. Basketball. Basketball. Okay. So he would come in, and he was single, so he could do whatever he wants. And and, and I love that life. Listen, I I love a single man and a single girl living their best life. But these girls, oh man, they would be like, um, oh. Waitress, hello, hello, yeah. Um, I'll take a vodka. Uh, what, what do you have? Um, I've got soda, cranberry, and Sprite. Yeah, I'll take a vodka pineapple. Oh 
Um, <laughs> I have to soda, today. Sprite, and cranberry. What would you like? Um, okay, I'll take a tequila and pineapple. Okay, once again, we have vodka. vodka. Okay, then they get sassy. Do you know who I'm sitting with? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I do know who you're sitting yeah. with. And trust me, next week will be a whole different <laughs> gaggle of y'all. I will not see you again. Actually, what's your name, Stephanie? You'll be in the rotation. I'll see you in six to seven weeks when he rotates through the rest of yeah. them. So here's your fucking vodka cranberry. You're going to love it because guess what? It's free. <laughs> and you love free shit. I mean, that, her name wasn't really Stephanie. I was just. <laughs> I know. Okay. But I mean, and then stuff like that. Like, so were they rude? Like, they could oh, be rude. So oh, rude. they what? are so rude. Oh my gosh. If I'm sitting next to this professional athlete, do you, bow down, hands on knees, <gasps> like, get whatever I want. Oh I have never. Excuse been me, bitch. Rude. I'm sorry. I think I've known him way longer than you. And um, I, unless you have his phone number, you need to sit the fuck down. <laughs> or like sometimes, well, like, me. sometimes the, 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 the athlete or the said person will get involved. They'll be like, hey, 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 like, chill, chill, like, relax, you know? It's like, wow. Does that can... piss y'all off when they're like that? Well, yeah, yeah, I call, I tell yeah, them, I'm yeah. like, oh, I'm congratulations. Like, get your hose in line. Like, yeah. we, are, we are not doing this. Like, yeah. you want to bring these girls around? Fine, by all means. But they need to treat everyone with fucking respect. No shit. Yeah. I'm like, congratulations. You are thirsty all night long. Good for you. Yeah. But you, she'll be like, I want a drink. I want a drink. I'll be like, you, you get a drink. You want a drink? Anybody else? Okay, good. No, bye. See ya. <laughs> Like, I would marry you all day long. Yeah. yeah. You want to act like that? The like bar's that. over there. Pull out your card, honey. Yeah. Pull it out. And, or if you're sitting at a at a, at a comp table or an owner table and you're asking for a bunch of stuff, like the alligator gar- arms, right? They have, they can't reach their wallets. So it's like right. when I sit at a comp table, if I sit at a, an owner's table or comp table and I ask the waitress for something specific or, you know, I'll, I'll, we you know, I'll give her, like. I'll give her drink cash, right? Time. I'll hand her cash. Or if I make her go to the bar, I set my own tab or I'll just hand a hundred dollars and just be like, Hey, thanks so much for like dealing with not so much us, but the these nightmare. idiots, right? These nightmares. Um, it's a, uh, yeah. Wow. You just a lot of patience. Oh, it's it's like almost like an obstacle course when you're working because you like you got to deal with the with the hose, then you've got gla- oh. broken glass on the floor, you're elbowing people, you're trying not to burn everyone's hair off with the sparkler. You've got to do like 10 hundred things at once and everyone's drinking and on drugs and I I, I don't even like babysitting as a, as like a kid. So like I don't know how I got stuck babysitting actual adults, adults. on drugs and drinking. And yeah. like Do you guys stay sober most of the time or absolutely. you're Absolutely not. Like, <laughs> not. No. no way. I've tried that one time. I was like, listen, Olivia, like, we're not going to drink tonight. We're just going to get through it. And within our my first two sat tables, Shots. I'm like, fucking Stephanie has already back. asked me <laughs> where she gets her car after the club. Well, Stephanie, probably in fucking valet. <laughs> just like, have you have you ever have you ever seen valet before? Like, the I mean, little the guy questions. stands out with the boxy parts. She's like, um, car. Um, where do I get my car like after this? I'm like, um, well, the same place you dropped it off. I can't imagine this. It, oh, what you see at night. I'm, I'm oh my to think, god. What's another question we get a lot? That's just like the bathroom. Oh, the private bathroom. <laughs> oh. oh, we have okay. So we had a, a professional athlete, and it was a Wednesday night at Camel Room. And we were completely sold out front and back. Mind you, the back has like a private little room. Like you can like uh, curtain it off so you can be private. So at like one o'clock, we get a text and we're like, hey, clear the back room. I'm like, well, what are we going to do with all these people? Like, there's <laughs> six tables back here that are fully going. They're up and running. Like they have no, no, t- and no mood to stop. So we end up just kicking them all out. This athlete brings Six us- tables. Six we, tables. It's a, a whole back of panel room. Wow. We are, we com- are we talking football now? No, this basketball. is basketball. So. Ba- still basketball. A big, big, yeah. big this name. This is not, d- not yeah. a Dallas person, but he's oh. a, he's a basketball player. So he comes in and he brings his whole entourage. He comes in the back. His entourage is rude as fuck. <laughs> they always rude are. Rude as fuck. The Even entourage worse, always the, the entourage always. is worse than amazing? the bottle rats. Like, why? Because, because they, they, they are. They're somebody. They're with oh, them. God, they're the worst. They're the worst. So anyways, <laughs> he like... He's looking around and we have one bathroom and this club is small. Like it's not it's a big very club. Yeah. So, and he, you know, every, he's wearing a hood and a mask. <laughs> he is very tall. Yes. But a lot of people are tall. We have a lot of athletes in the house. So he's like, I have to use the bathroom. I have to use the bathroom. He's yelling at me. He's like, where's, he's like, the, where's the private, private bathroom? bathroom? We're like, we don't have a private bathroom. Like, I don't know what you want us to do. He's like, well, where the fuck am I supposed to go to the you bathroom? You guys, I dead ass, <laughs> dead ass, turn around. <laughs> 
pick up a cup and I'm like, here's <laughs> your private bathroom. Here's your private bathroom. <laughs> because I These don't are all know, your friends, I don't so. know what you want me to do because I cannot move the toilet. So this, I'm like, no one is, I'm like, you, you're just eyes. Like no one's going to know who you are. Yeah. You, 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 play, you play basketball, but like you have a mask, your hood is you, like a hat. Tied. Like you, you have a hat. seeing this much like, of no one. I he mean, didn't want anybody to know who he was. Right. Yeah. And um, so no, he ends up going to the bathroom and not one person said anything. Said yeah. anything. Everyone's like, okay, I'm with this giant tall guy. But yeah, oh she's right. The gosh. entourage is always, I've waited on, I mean, I've waited on who? Mark Cuban, Jerry Jones, uh, I mean, we've Ezekiel, waited on everyone, yeah. ja- everyone I've waited on Jamie Foxx, Nelly, Jenna Connor Jameson, Conor McGregor. Conor, all wow. kinds. Um, all kinds. I would say, I will say that Nelly is the best. Yeah. He didn't demand anything. He paid his tab. He was kind. He was sweet. His entourage was amazing. Some guy bought him a three liter Ace Rose. He literally looked at me. He's like, I don't drink this here. You can have it. It was an $8,500 bottle. He just gave it to me. Tipped was phenomenal. He was probably one. Him. Get Jamie, it, Nelly. Yeah. Him, yeah. Jamie Foxx, and probably Nomar are my favorite people to I wait on. They're all kind. Their entourage is kind. They tip. They they always ask, hey, do you guys want to do a shot with us? They're just they're just easy to wait on. I will Who's say this. Who's the worst? Uh, Who's the worst to wait on? I will say all the athletes in Dallas are, are, yeah. are really good to they us. Really they are. are really nice. They respect us. We respect them. Tyler Sagan's yeah. another really they're great good. one. Zeke, he's amazing. Zeke's really good. Um, Tim Hardaway, he's awesome too. He takes really good care of us, so... Um, I'm trying to think who's worse. These are some big names that y'all like yeah. the, party with. The, um, well, well, that's oh, a Wednesday. Like, <laughs> I don't, I don't know worse. The, the worst, most difficult. The worst is like the normal people. Yeah, the, normal people the worst are is the worst. honestly, it's the worst. The worst is the the girls at the owners' tables. Those yeah. are the worst. And then I would say the worst entourage I've ever dealt with was probably Steve Aoki's entourage. Uh, they uh, were really bad. Who they is were. That? That guy we just talked about. The, uh, he's a DJ. DJ. He's um, uh, Gino yeah. Yeah. He, his dad he, is a Benny Benihana. Yeah. Right. He, he, him himself, Steve Aoki himself, amazing. He's very sweet, very kind, puts on an amazing show. I don't know. I couldn't name one person as entourage, but whatever entourage he brought that day was a fucking nightmare. If oh I could my. open hand slap anybody, it'd be the, that entire table. It, they were demanding. They were rude. They one guy asked me to look at my fingernails, so I like showed him. And he goes, "Oh, I just wanted to make sure you didn't chip one in my eyes." <gasps> I mean, just uh, the okay, just, yeah. you're right. People just are like really crazy. rude. Crazy we have a lady rude. that comes in sometimes, and she brings her own actual grapefruit <laughs> and has our bar back like the, the juice fruit? it the actual fruit <laughs> and our bar bar back. I mean, she pays him a lot of money to juice this grapefruit, but I mean, she brings in like what three or four of them, yeah. and she's like, "Do you Why? mind?" Shh, that's what she, she just likes, likes grapefruit. She likes fresh grapefruit. Fresh grapefruit. Okay. okay. Yeah, I mean, if she's paying. You got it like that. Yeah. Fuck I mean, it. I'm trying to think I mean, what's another weird request that we've the penis straws. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, <laughs> we have yeah. one athlete that loves to drink out of penis straws. Just because he likes he likes when people like look over and, and they're like a oh, shock my, value, like shock oh, value. Oh, Obviously, yeah. he's straight, but it is just when you look over and see a very famous athlete <laughs> drinking out of a purple penis straw, oh, it just God. does something to oh, you. Oh my <laughs> God! Yeah. And it, it, it is it is real, the shock value there is really epic. I really I mean, like that. Uh, but really, no and, request is like too And big. they request this, or like, I need a bottle and uh, five penis drops. <laughs> yeah, I, <laughs> need a, <laughs> I need a bottle and some toenail clippers, yeah. and also the girl over there on the right. Yeah, we had a client the other day. We were we were in Miami for her sister's bachelorette party, and our friend came in, and he was doing his 40th birthday in Dallas to spend it with us. And we were like, oh, we're going to be in Miami, but we'll be home on Monday. So he's partying all weekend, and Sunday he calls me. He's like, we're dying. I'm like, okay, what do you want me to do? He's like, I need an IV. I'm like, okay, where are you? He's like, bottle blonde. We literally had him go up to the office and they sat them all up there and did IVs to like really request. There's no crazy requests. It's like You'll make it too work. much. Yeah. You guys yeah. Yeah. make it work. And, Money and makes guys, shit happen. And you yeah, guys know where to get everything. Anything, <laughs> anyway. anything and everything. People ask for... Oh, uh, oh! Do you know where I can store a ten-foot gorilla? That was my favorite one, <laughs> and I—I um, I thought he was talking about and, a real gorilla. And I'm like, is that even legal? Like, what are we doing here? What you got it for? Um, yes, we did. I mean, we've had people oh, ask for, they, even people like they'll be like, "Hey, are you in Dallas?" I'm like, "No, I'm on vacation." Oh, okay, never mind, never mind, never mind. 
What what do you need? Well, I just needed this. I'm like, okay, give me two seconds. <laughs> it says concierge. It's at your hotel. Oh, oh, oh okay. wow. Yeah. So I know. I mean, so you guys really take care of people. So yeah. and that's why I tell people that's why I make the big bucks. Yeah, and that's course. why right yeah. that is your real job. If, yeah, because that is it's right. way more than. Well, what did you say earlier? They're like they're like Dallas concierge. Yeah. Like, yeah. They can call you for anything. I would say like a luxury concierge. Yeah. Yeah. Like we can do anything. Boats. Planes, yacht, I mean, cars. And not just rooms, Dallas. Yeah. yeah. Anywhere. Like, yeah. Anywhere. we can do, you need it in Kansas City. Okay. I'll figure it out. <laughs> I'll like, have something do you know for you somebody? We, we are like, do my friends have... will go to Vegas on a Saturday night and they'll be like, hey, we really want to go to Beauty in Essex, but they're like completely sold out. Um, Give me two seconds. What time? How many? Yeah. Like, how many? No way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You should make that a business. Well, I, know. I know. We're working it on it. We're working is. on it's it. It's just not like. I mean, but I mean, like, it's actually. It's officially unofficial. Yeah. It's yes. officially unofficial. We're, we're doing. We're if you know, money, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Right. Yeah, we got to, like, level up. And I get, I get people. sure, but how awesome. Like, you're, you know. I mean, like, I think that's it's, it's so fun. great. People will be like, hey, I got your number from Steve and Steve got it from Rob and Rob got it from this guy in Miami. His name is, I'm like, oh, Bob. Yeah. I love Bob. What do you need? <laughs> that literally, we have clients coming into town next weekend and I got a text like a month ago. Hey, this is um so-and-so. Um, I'm a friend of Doc's and I from Miami and he said that you could help me with whatever I need in Dallas. And I'm like, Sure, whatever, <laughs> fine, let's go, let's do What do you want to do? And if we're off, you know, we'll go out with them. So I call it hand-holding. We like to hold their hands. You know, that way they feel special. They don't have to here, wait in line. Meet this girl. Meet my friend. Some guys, some of, some. Uh, I think that's fucking amazing. As I awkward know. as this sounds, a lot of richer men are extraordinarily awkward. Oh, yeah. So we're a buffer, right? They don't want to wait in line. Okay, we, we got we got a man uh, down. Man. We got a man <laughs> down. Did the whole thing fall off? Oh, I'm so technical. Technical. I'm spider. Spider. This is the first time my mom has ever spider, ripped the we need mic you. off. <laughs> She's in shock. got her shock. too excited. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I think I need is this margarita yeah, yeah. here have mine because I'm drinking oh, a Bloody right. Mary yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah we you know some people don't like even though they have a table they'll still kind of like stand in the back of the line they won't charge forward because they're like well I don't know who do I talk to what's the door guy's name and so we'll go with them we'll hold their hands we'll get them to the front of the line we introduce them to the right people so that's uh, uh, people always say like oh you don't have a 9 to 5 no I have a 24 7 because I'll get a phone call All at 4 a.m. Hey, yeah. do you know somebody in L.A. or, or but you whatever? But you enjoy your job. I do. Why do you yeah. have to be miserable where I, you work for no. it to be real? Right. I, I don't was, want to be. We're sitting at a $60,000 table at Kiki on the River in Miami on Sunday. And I'm sitting there booking IVs for 20 <laughs> minutes. Then I go back to porting. And I'm like, okay, now my work here is done. Yeah. It's wow. just like, I don't need to be in an office or like some formation. If I mean, my bills are paying. If I'm making money, it's none of your concern. Exactly. No. And you're enjoying life. That's probably yeah. yeah. But yeah, I can tell you it's super professional about it. It's yeah. like, yeah. okay, you're getting things done. That's, yeah. that's well, how you... get you... shit done. And I, yeah. uh, you know, I, I do a lot of the cocktail training. And I the first thing I tell them, I'm like, listen, I will train you exactly how... I'll, I'll give you all the knowledge I have. Ask me any questions you have. I will train you. I will hold your hand. I will make sure your questions are answered. But so help me God, if I have to come back here and I line you up and I see your face, I will fire you. Like it is not that hard. It is not a difficult job. I will train everybody the way that I would like to be trained. Mm-hmm. So uh, yeah, it's, <sighs> you, it's hard. And number two, oh, you yeah. cannot sleep with the regulars. Yeah, that is another cocktail. The like that's you number do, two. They, they're never coming back. You just lost all of your money, every and, single dollar. And in my you know, is never coming back. Girls sleep with like the a couple right, a couple big regulars here and there. Then they find out about each other. Then of it's a course. fight, right? Mm. And then it's just a really bad look. So to be professional, everyone always says, "Oh, bottle girls, they sleep with all their tables. That's why they make so much money. They give them hand jobs." <laughs> I have never, ever, ever slept with one of my regulars with one of my tables. I, I'm very, very professional on that level because once you cross that line, that that opens that a respect. Pandora's box, and you just don't want that. Well, ladies, do also, not sleep with your regulars. Also, the worth gets out, and then yeah, exactly. and then everybody then you're just that thinks girl. that they buy a bottle of Dom and they can take you home and fuck yeah. you. Is that what yeah. you want? Then fine, go do that. But that's not for me, and you're not going to be standing next to me while I'm bringing out the bottle of Dom and having people think that I'm doing the same thing with you. <laughs> yeah, and like I said, I I got in this at 17. I, I will tell y'all, I'm 34. So I've been in this game a very long time and I've seen a revolving, rotating oh, sure. door of girls. I, I couldn't name 
well, I could maybe name like four or five girls that I started with that are still in the industry, whether for whatever reasons, but there's not many of us. The The old school generation is dying and the new school girls are coming in and it is They're painful. They're only fans and things like mm-hmm. that. So why would you come to work when you can just sit at home and take your pants off or whatever and take a picture? Like, why would you do that? And then they come in here thinking that they're going to find a sugar daddy. And it's like, no, these are like, it's you work. have to work. Ugh. Like, you have right. to work. You they have don't to last. Work. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You want a sugar daddy? Go work at the strip club. Yeah. You want a sugar Yeah. Listen, that's to you- all the girls with sugar daddies, I love that for you. If that works for you, then that that's amazing. Totally. I love that. That just doesn't work for me. I do not yeah. want somebody to control my life or to tell me what I can and can't do, what I can and can't wear. Cut your or, credit card when you don't right, answer your phone. Right, when you phone, don't answer your phone. They'll shut your credit your card car. off. Like, that's not a life Repo for me. your car. I mean, I've <laughs> seen it. I've seen it. It's good. Really? Uh, many times. This guy was, like, calling my girlfriend, and, and it was her sugar daddy, and um, he was like, if you don't answer on this next call, then say goodbye to your credit card, and I'll send a, a truck for your Mercedes. And she was like, hey, guys, I just, I just got to call him, like, real quick. I'm like, I can't. I could not do that. But, but I'm like, fucking busy controlling very controlling very and then that what goes back to what cruz said there's a lot of money here so a lot of these wealthy guys these girls will do that kind of stuff Mm -hmm. and they cater to them they fluff their balls and they do whatever they say so (laughs) you know when me and olivia come (laughs) around and they're like oh she'll have the salad i'm like uh no i'll have the prime rib please and uh yeah hold the salad yeah and then you know they don't like it because we're unfiltered and we say what we want and they don't want that they want you to shut the hell up and be pretty that's why they like us as friends, not girlfriends. Yeah. Uh, they could yeah. never have a set of girlfriend, yeah. but I would never want them as my boyfriend. They're terrible. Yeah. They're right. literally the worst. We're always <sighs> invited everywhere because we're, you know, yeah. we 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 know the role. We're funny. We're fun. We 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 get it. We don't say anything. Like people always say, like, when you train these girls, like, what do you say about you know the wives? We don't talk about them. Yeah. I tell all the girls I train, every single girl that comes to this table, it is sister, honey, love, baby doll. We do not use It is names. not Karen, Stephanie, Stacy, or Phoebe. You do not ever use a name because God forbid it's you Heather. call <laughs> you call the wife the side chick's name or you call the side chick the stripper's oh, name or the stripper the... Uh, it's just it's, something you never want to deal with that. And you only truly really see the wives on New Year's Eve. So, <laughs> New Year's Eve and their husband's birthday. Yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, oh, my it's, God. And if it's a girl's night out, their husbands will send them to us, and then they'll go somewhere else. Yeah. Oh, So, wow. yeah, I tell you, you see the wife. Yeah, Valentine's Day, if it falls on the right day. <laughs> New Year's Eve. It falls Eve, on a Wednesday. Yes. Oh, yeah. no, 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 not even on. A Friday. We had even, a Friday. The no, other no, 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 not even on the birthdays, because I was waiting on this. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, yeah. No. I'm not going to say any names, yeah. but I was waiting on a table and he goes, hey, listen, my wife's coming in for her birthday. I'm like, okay, okay. So uh, no side host, no, no, like I'll, I'll block. I'm buffering everybody. We're not going to let any of the norms in. He goes, oh, no, 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 no. She'll be at table five. I'm like, wait, what? She's not, she's not sitting at your table? He's like, no. I'm like, okay. Okay. Cool. Love that for you. I, okay. I mean, listen, what, whatever your relationship is, is none of my damn business, but I just tell the girls it's love, sister, honey, baby cakes, what, whatever you want to call them. No names. The name. Sister, never the name. And I've had a cocktail waitress. Ugh. I was training her, oh, and you don't even want to see her, the text and she's that we like, got the next day. She's like, so "Hey, bad. Susan." I'm like, Ugh. <gasps> "Oh, it's not no. Susan." Fuck He's and then no. the sisters like, oh, the, the, then the wife's like, "Who's Susan?" I'm like, "Oh, Susan used to work here." <gasps> Like two years. Susan was the bathroom attendant. Yeah, she was very, very confused. I'm so sorry about that. And then that was a whole another bag of issues. I don't think I've ever seen him again. Actually, that guy. They will never. uh, Once you, it's all about trust too. Because like you know, they're not everyone has their dirty little secrets. And no matter what you're doing, like if you're you know supposed to be um at work and you know whatever you're supposed to be doing, like town. Yeah, like we're very discreet with that stuff. So like we care about what you what what do you need and. Not, we're not going to say anything. Yeah, I'm not you know your marriage I mean? counselor. Like, you guys yeah. are there to ha- make them have fun. Right. Well, yeah, and then like, also, like, we kind of like, do. Per- you want them to have fun. Yeah, and then also, too, like, it, these people are taking pictures. We've straight up, I've I've literally squirrel dived in a club and grabbed someone's <laughs> phone, stomped on it, and I said, you want your picture now? Um, like, they're I was, crazy. Where was I, was, I was at Nick and Sam's. That. Right? Oh, picture. The hooker fight? No. Oh, the hooker, the hooker <laughs> fight. Do you but, know why there's a cop at Nick and Sam's now? Why? For the last like five years. What? It's because we were there on a Thursday and there was an athlete, and the only two people in this in the bar was our table and then this athlete's table. There was two hookers sitting at the bar. 
And his security was like telling these girls to like, go away, like we're not interested kind of. And they didn't really like that. So they got up and there happened to be another girl sitting like at the booth, like when you're walking out of the bar. And she was like, sucks to suck. Sucks to suck. <laughs> um, when I tell you glass went flying, it was all reset for the next day, you know? This girl just took <gasps> two wine glasses, threw them across, chucked it at the wall, breaks everywhere. The poor waiter is pouring Louis Trey, which is like <laughs> 350. I, 350 a shot. And he's like got the whole bottle and he's like, oh my God, what is going on? The other girl leaps, leaps out, of the, out booth. of the booth. Like it was a scene from a, a legit movie. And our, we're at sitting Nick and Sam. At Nick and, and Sam. on a Thursday <laughs> and we're sitting there like this. <laughs> and the, there's, it's just the bartender and like us. Yes. There's nobody. And the wait staff the, is moving the tables yeah. out of the way so they didn't break, break more the, shit. They weren't even yes. trying to break these girls <laughs> up. It was so yeah, bad. They, they didn't know what to do. Like the, these, these girls were like really going at it. And so we're like, uh, one of our friends was in the bathroom. We're like, man, he really missed out. Like, can't wait to tell him. He comes running in to the dining or to the bar. He goes, I got it on film. <laughs> he goes, it's the same girl we kicked out of another place yes. two days ago. Oh, so that's why they have a cop in Nixon's himself. So you see all the crazies. We see people at their best and we see people at yes. their worst. And so when the we do- The beginning of the night and the end of well, the Well, and then like, uh, you know, I was out having dinner with, with my boyfriend and- um. He goes, hey, there's so and so, and I was like, oh no, 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 we do not, we do not we approach don't know him. him. Yeah. We don't approach him. Uh, we are, because we don't know that there. human. We don't know that girl yeah. that's with him. He was there. No, I knew. It was, well, we I knew, knew it was, was the wife. So I literally was uh, like, no, 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 Kevin, we we don't know him until he gives me the okay, okay nod, right? So I kind of make eye contact with him. He gives me the, you know, it's okay. So then I approach the table. I'm like, hi, how are you? Good to see you. And that that's okay. But you know, she does. I don't know if she knows that he goes out. I don't know if she thinks that he's out he's of town like or he's playing you know dodgeball playing golf. I don't know. Like, so I knows? I just stay away. But I mean, it, it is a wow. very slippery slope out there. You have to be. You, you have to know. Cocktail waitresses yeah. have to have some kind of form of street smarts. What will they say next? <laughs> 